once we get to a, a reasonable level of consumer adoption of EVs, we might see vehicles part back to back. Um, have we moved fast enough? Is the question I'm going to try and um, poke in your mind during this particular segment. The reality is um, that South Africa has enjoyed a strong growth in uh, vehicle manufacturing and vehicle sales over the last uh, couple of decades. And um, we risk losing a significant portion of that. You heard that in the previous session, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to lay the point. 60% of our vehicles manufactured in South Africa are actually exported. And that's the reality. Charging infrastructure and development is, is slow. You heard from David that once we get to a, a reasonable level of consumer adoption of EVs, we might see vehicles part back to back. Uh, and I certainly, if I go to Grinstad again, I hope I'm the only EV at Grinstad. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find a guest house. Um, in order to charge uh, my vehicle effectively for the next uh, leg of the trip. Um, only manufacturers and technicians. That's the other area that I think requires attention and education. Are we educating our people enough in, uh, in actually working on these EVs? Do we know what the latest software updates should be? And then um, our economy is still under a significant amount of pressure. These are the realities from COVID-19, lockdowns, all of the things that have happened in the last 12 to 18 months. So this reality has brought about a few challenges. And those challenges are European, de European deadlines have not shifted. As a matter of fact, those European deadlines have come forward. We heard from the UK that initially it was 2040, then it was 2035, and I believe they're talking about 2030. So those European deadlines are getting closer and closer to home. We've got to move really, really quickly. Um, and the lack of understanding of truly living with an EV is another challenge. I've been living with my EV for the last three months. And there are things that I've learned that I didn't know not only an EV. Um, and if you want to know what those are, follow me on social media because I'm sharing them constantly in an effort to try and uh, uh, help educate the consumer and the car buyer in the future so that, so that we make this transition as a country. I love South Africa. I am uh, not going to be one of my uh, eight cousins that left the country for greener pastures. And, uh, and I say this to them on a regular basis, as a matter of fact, they're going to come back uh, to South Africa. So, uh, uh, you know, we need to make this a land of opportunity. Um, and in saying that, the challenges have been eased by um, auto traders seeing a 200 plus percent growth in EV searches on our platform, which is very, very encouraging. So there's positive stories besides the challenges that we face. And those positive stories is that there's been significant OEM investment um, from the likes of Ford, Toyota and Jaguar in South Africa, and you heard um, David ask me a little bit earlier on, what are manufacturers doing? Well, there has been significant amounts of investments, and if OEMs didn't believe in our country, uh, remember all these OEMs are from international places, uh, they wouldn't be putting investments into South Africa, but they are. Um, government is in, engaging with the entire automotive sector. We saw the green papers uh, over the last six months, and we're referencing successful models from countries like Norway. And, uh, uh, and those countries have significantly moved the needle from an EV adoption point of view. But there's this another stark reality, and that is the supply side. So besides the industry side, the supply side is lacking, in that we only have five EVs in the market today. And those are on the screen. Porsche, Taken, Jaguar, Magic, WI3, Mini SE, and, uh, and the Volvo XC40 PA can be charged. There's another eight coming in the first quarter of next year, so that's very encouraging. But this is a stark reality that there are only five. And uh, we've seen this 211% increase in searches, which coincided with the introduction of vehicles like the Mini SE. So David asked about chicken or egg. Which one uh, should come first? 
we see increases in searches the moment there is supply. So there has to be supply. We know there's demand. And the 500,000 man price point, I can't emphasize that more than we have. And one of the best ways to see EV adoption in South Africa is actually to put bums in seats. Get South Africans to actually experience these vehicles firsthand while we are educating them around the benefits of EVs and why we should be doing these things.